Hello everyone, welcome to our daily mana. I know that at some point in our lives, you have heard or read that verse that says, For all things work together for the good of those who love God. But you see, how do we measure those good things that can contribute to us from those bad experiences that has happened in our lives? Or for us Christians, how do we say that these good things are really good things when all the things that they have contributed in us are actually painful experiences? And as I ponder upon this question, I often ask that, you know, that question in my mind that whenever bad things would happen to us, how should we respond as a Christian, as a believer of Christ? And I was reminded of a verse in the Bible. So if you have your Bibles with you, kindly open it with me in the book of Genesis, chapter 50, verses 19 to 21. The word of the Lord says, But Joseph said to them, do not fear, for I am in the place of God. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. So do not fear, I will provide for you and your little ones. Thus he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. You see, while I was reading that passage, that specific verse, I often ask that question, how does God use all things, even our suffering, for good? And I was looking at the background, the experience of Joseph during this time, because he was betrayed by his brothers. He was sold to slavery. There was time that he was actually imprisoned because of the things that he did not commit. And as I was looking at that experience, there was this moment where it pondered upon me that Along all of those things, bad things that happen after bad things that has happened to Joseph, everything that he experienced, all of those things, he would often look at God. You see, in the perspective of those people who do not believe in God, masasabihin nila that it's malas, it's bad luck, that everything that has happening, that has been happening around them is not good. But while I was considering the story of Joseph, all the while, he knew and understood that every scenario, every moment, whether good or bad, he knew that God has a plan and he has a purpose. You see, if we're going to look back at the story of Joseph, he actually encountered a lot of problems. He, he encountered betrayal. He encountered deceptions. He even encountered human trafficking back then during his time. And he also encountered sexual harassment while he was in the palace of Potiphar. And while looking at this experience, you would actually see that all of these experiences are actually bad things. And thus, while I was focusing on these bad experiences, Joseph still was able to say, You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. And why is that? Because you see, that definition of good thing that Joseph had during this time, he was actually looking at it from the very big perspective that God has. Because every story, every detail that God embedded in his life, God has a purpose. So the question for us Christians is, in our lives today, as we encounter those bad things, bad experiences, problems, difficulties, situations, and struggles, how should we respond as a Christian? Now, I like what Joseph mentioned here. You see, in our life, the story of Joseph, as described in the Bible, describes how God orchestrated everything from the very beginning until the very end. You see, the greatest story illustrated in the Bible is also the story of Jesus Christ, where it showed to us that from the moment Jesus was born, he already had a purpose, and that purpose will come to fulfillment when Jesus dies on the cross and will be resurrected again after three days. And as I was looking at this story, you see, God is actually a very good storyteller. He is also a very good weaver of story because from the very beginning, God did not allow any detail to go pass by him because he has a purpose from that moment on. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I want us to be encouraged. I want us to be encouraged because as we look at these experiences, we can always look at God, that everything that happens in our life 
it has a reason. It has a reason. God has a purpose. Every detail that has happened in our life, God, you know, allowed it to be included in our life because He will bring a wonderful testimony of His goodness, of His faithfulness, of His love, of His grace in our life. And I hope and pray that just like Joseph, we will continue to include God in the picture, in our story, and believe in ourselves that God is the one who, who actually writes our story from the very beginning until the very end. Allow me to pray for you. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this time that you've given us. Thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity where we can look at our life from your perspective. Though there are things, Lord, that we are not happy happening in our lives, still, Father, we believe that every detail, every scenario, every situation, Lord, you have placed them, Lord, particularly at a, certain, at a certain time in our life because you want us, Lord, to experience these things and know, Lord, that you have, are in control and that you, have, that you have a purpose from the very beginning in our life. And so, Lord, today, I may not know what my brothers and sisters are going through. I may not know, Lord, the problems. I may not know, Lord, the details in their life. But Lord, all the more, to the life of Joseph, remind us, Lord God, that you have, you know, the things around us are meant for evil. Still, Lord, you can use it for your good to bring out the testimony, to bring out your goodness, your love, and your grace. And so, Lord, bless my brothers and sisters. Allow them, Lord, to continually know you. And thank you, Lord, for reminding us this wonderful reminder, Lord, of your love, of your story. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you.